This is what we're going to make today. It's a squirrel trap. It's a repeating squirrel trap. You can get several uh, squirrels up in there at one time. They come in these little doors and get in there and then they can't get back out. All right, let's get in the shop and get it made. All right, so we're going to start with two pieces that are 24 by 24. This is this is two inch by one inch welded wire. You can get this at places like TSC. Um, I think Home Depot carries it. You can get it online. Lots of, any farm supply place ought to have it. And so it comes 24 inches wide, or this roll did, and I cut another piece. I cut it 24 inches long ways, like this. And now as it comes on a roll, I'm just trying to flatten it out a little bit. take some of the curve out like that so we've got those two pieces and then we need to cut the side pieces and they're four inches so one two three four inches tall again I'm going to try to take some of the curve out of them to make them flat and then of course they're 24 inches long I'm going to need two of those Okay, so here's another piece, four inches by 24, and I need to cut this to 10 inches, and I need two of those, so two, four, six, eight, 10. Two, four, six, eight, 10. I wanna show you these cutters. These are from Harbor Freight. They've got really long handles, so they make it easy to cut through this stuff. It can be kinda of hard to cut through these wires, especially when you're cutting, you know, when you're making making something like this, you're cutting, you know, several hundred wires. So two, four, six, eight, ten. I need four pieces total. All right, now you need four pieces that are eight inches long. So two, four, six, eight. Okay, so that's all our pieces. We need two pieces that are 24 by 24. We need two pieces that are four by 24. Four pieces that are four by 10 and four pieces that are four by eight. And that'll build basically the cage. And then we've still got to make the lid and the, and the trap doors, but we'll get to that in a minute. Now, you've got to have some wire cage, clip, wire cage clips. These are also known as J clips. And that's because they look like they look like a J. You can get these at farm supply stores, or you can get them online at Amazon. You'll also need one of these so you can crimp your J clips. And I'll put a link to some of these in the description in case you're having trouble finding them. So we're just going to lay one of our piece four inch by twenty four pieces there. Get your J clip, and I like to load them this way where the rounded piece is toward the single and this one's toward the double. They make better pliers than this nowadays, but that's how I normally do it. And then just start, you just hook that, hook that under the two wires and close it and it curls around it like that. Okay, so just take the bottom part of your J and hook it under like that and give it a squeeze. And that's how you lock it, lock it in place. Now take uh, one of your 10 inch pieces and you're going to put a 10 inch piece here and a 10 inch piece there like that. You're going to do that on both sides. Okay, so now the two, uh, the 
four by eight pieces, they're gonna come in just like this. Right where this opening is, they're gonna come in right there. All right, so now we're gonna start standing all these up and connecting the corners, just like that. So to make the doors, you want to cut a piece that's three inches wide and two, four, six inches long. This is the trap door. Now get it on, get it right on the edge and split this first two inch. So you about want about an inch hanging over and try to get it kind of straight and then just give it a little bit of a bend like that. So now, if you run your wire the other way, you can put it one inch in. I ran mine this way, so I'm gonna have to move it two inches in. So it sits like this with that little kick up like that. Set it in there and take your, your J clips, you're gonna use those to make a hinge for it. And you capture it right in between there so that it can't slide. We'll do the same thing on this side over here. Now see, it can't, it can't move over right or left too far because if it did, it could get caught and get caught up and they would just run in and out. Okay. Then we do the same over here. All right, so now we're gonna cut the hole on top of it. And so right in front of these two lanes that come in, we're gonna cut right across there. And we're gonna make a hole that's eight inches by eight inches. All right, so we've cut our hole, and now here is the trap door. So 
So that locks it down. So there's our door added on. Now we need to make some little doors for the sides so that because once you get your squirrels in there and you're trying to carry them off, you don't want to pick this up and have a door open and them run out. So we're going to make a couple of doors to go on the sides. And so we'll just cut these as long as we can. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So two more pieces that are four by ten. Yeah, I'm going to cut that off a little bit. I'd like it better if it was 15 inches, I think. Yeah, I like that better. And I'm going to move this one. Okay, so I made those two by eight. This is a wire bender that I made a few years back and I've actually got a video out there on how to make this if you're interested in it. But I'm gonna use this to make the handle. And I'm starting out with a piece of wire that's 22 inches long. So I've got a piece of wire that's bent like that. Now I've marked in the middle of my wire, I've marked a five inch space right here because that's kind of a nice amount for your hand to grab. And then I'm just going to place that and give it a 90 degree bend. And that's my handle right there. Now this wire is uh, the wire that's used to hold up political signs. So uh, this coming up is going to be a good time to be able to pick up a ton of this stuff. I go to the polling places after the election, like the day after, and you can just get a truckload of signs. And this wire uh, works really good for making hardware. All right, so when you open one of these, you don't open it out. You just twist it to the side a little bit. Now what this nice big handle will allow me to do, when I catch them, I can pick that up and they, nothing can reach my hand. Now there's lots of ways to close these doors and hold this stuff down. Uh, I'm just going to take the basic easy approach. I'm just going to take a piece of wire and wire it closed. Like 
that. Um, you can, some of the ones you'll see for sale have a spring and a hook, and you could do that. Um, you could also take a little clasp, you know, and clasp it on there. Lots of different ways, but I'm just going to use a piece of wire. You know, a good way to do this would be if you had a little clasp like this and you just put it on there and that'll hold it in place. All right, that's got this cage finished. I'm going to go set it um, and see what I can catch. If you're wanting to see how these traps work, just because um, I'm not planning to set up like a, a wildlife cam and all that kind of stuff to show how it works, but if you want to see these in action, just um, go on to YouTube and Google uh, repeating squirrel trap and you'll be able to see how these actually operate. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.